Welcome to the Poe Politikin Show. Founded in 2008, Poe Politikin is a hip-hop meets self-help brand. With each interview, we teach the babies and share success secrets with you, the listener. Past guests of the Poe Politikin Show include Yo Gotti, Currency, MC Light, BG, Dead Press, Rashida, Project Pat, and more. We also showcase the future upcoming stars of hip-hop. Subscribe on iTunes and get automatic updates of each podcast episode. Popolitikin.com Hey, yo, this is Joe Allende, and I'm on Popolitikin right now, Politikin with the Kings. What up? Looking at the flip, count it twice. I can get the work moving for a discounted price. No, the stick up kid is looking for the discounted ice. And the cop say I'm black and got a discounted life. Yeah, they shooting. Yeah, they shootin'. Church bells. Life sentence, put them in that up jail. Pay the toll, burn the bridge, burn the shell. Heard a pop, then I heard a nigga yell. Got my power up, I'm rolling big Rolling paper so it look like I'm just rolling six Hit the up, then go ahead and hit the coldest jig Hit a stop, snap my fingers and my shoulder dip I'm flowing like open wrist, yeah I kill it, no cold defense Yeah I kick it, my soul in this, yeah I get it like oh uh, Your winter ain't cold as this, yeah I figured you know That my temperament cold is the temperature of the snow Yeah I show them how to go. play the game, beat the system, get a bag you're a nigga in your system down an ass What's the ticket for a verse by the stash? They know your spirit is worth a lot of cash So they keep on putting more sugar in the tank It ain't healthy for your body, I ain't talking what you think Yeah, I'm cool with the gauge, make sure you get it straight Cost more for the veggies, so we trying to get the pay Like, looking at the flip, count it twice I can get the work moving for a discounted price Know the stick up kid is looking for the Discounted ice in the cop say I'm black and got a discounted life. Yeah, they shootin', yeah, they shootin'. Church bells, life sentence, put them in that herb jail. Hit the toe, burn the bridge, burn the shell. Welcome back to PolPolitikin.com, your home for self help meets hip hop. Make sure you go to Spotify, Google Play, Apple Podcasts, type in PolPolitikin. This is some of our interviews past 11 years. One, two, one, two. I'm in the place to be with Joe Allende. How you doing, bro? I'm doing well, man. How you doing? Good, sir. I'm fantastic. So that sounds like your your real name, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Joe Allende. Uh, first name, Joseph. Uh, middle name's Allende. So um, kind of just threw those together. Joe Allende. There you have it. Dun, dun, dun. Man, what's your hometown? Uh, I'm from uh, North Babylon, New York. Um that's that same area as Rakim, uh, LL Cool J grew up out there. Um, that's about a 20 minute drive towards where Prodigy from Mob Deep grew up in Hempstead. Um, t- 15 minutes over from uh, from from De La Soul in Amityville. So uh, yeah, <laughs> right in the middle of a lot of history. What's up? So what made you want to rap? What was you at? What, what age was that? Um, really, it was me. Uh, MC Hammer, he's the one that really did it for me. Uh, growing up, yeah, I grew up in church, so I would always be around music. I fell in love with music when I first heard the drums. Uh, I just remember hearing that bass hit in my chest. And uh, since then, it was like, you know, growing up, learning how to beatbox. My older brother and older sister, they taught me how to beatbox. And then I ran into MC Hammer, like a lot of young, impressionable youth at <laughs> my age. And just his um, seeing him perform and knowing how I felt seeing him perform and just the uh, the excitement from it. It was like, yo, I want to entertain. I want to do that. I want to be on stage. And um, after that, it was, uh, I, I liked the I liked the West Coast sound that was going on back in the 90s. And I was rocking with uh, Bad Boy a lot. You know, I was uh, a, lot of, a lot of mainstream sounds. So I think Mace is the one that really made me say, hey, I want to, I want to rap. That's yeah, he's one of my favorite started. rappers. Yeah, man, that was that was like that was the that was the turning point where we went from entertainment like MC Hammer and showmanship to oh, there's a there's an art form behind this. All right, then what is hip hop to you? Hip hop is the culture. Um, for me, hip hop is a um, stylish movement. Hip hop, uh, of course, knowing that embraces uh, you know DJ and B boy and graffiti, um, rap music, um, you know all the elements, but hip hop. Is a is a culture. It's a way of life. It's your slang. It's the way you wear your clothes. It's the 
it's the way you walk. It's um even the way even the way that you process information could be hip hop. And um for me, right, you know, rap music is just uh it's the voice of that culture. Now, would you talk about your style and like some of the themes you talk about in your music? Yeah, um, for me, it's it's a lot of it's a lot of life, a lot of life. It was always introspective. Um, <clears throat> I got to a point, you know, growing up listening to Mace, like I don't have Rolexes and things like that. So as I as I grew up, started listening to like the Joe Buttons and you know, uh, Little Brother. Fonte is one of my favorite MCs and, and people like that. So that influenced that introspective style. So there's a lot of a lot of life lessons, just a lot of reflecting. And at this point, it's me just delivering <clears throat> information on how I've moved either intellectually or emotionally, mentally, spiritually from one place to another, the level, uh, like the leveling up and even revealing the uh, the processes, revealing those dark times in that music and uh, just really being like a soundtrack to to holistic living, if you if you want to say that, yeah. Yeah, we I interviewed uh, Big Pool a few times on the show. That's yeah, man. That's <laughs> Big Pool, man. I remember I used to confuse when I first ran into Little Brother or was introduced to him. I didn't know who Big Pool or Fonte was. I used to mix up their names and, and stuff like that. But yeah, man, Big yeah, Fonte and Big Pool are responsible for a <clears throat> for a lot of uh, a lot of my love for for rap music. I mean, what's some of your favorite May songs? Some of my, oh my gosh! Well, the whole Harlem World album was fire. Um, but um, I say my my all my my all time favorite May song is gonna have to be Jealous Guys. I know that's weird. Oh yeah, no, I like that song too. <laughs> but, that's like that's probably my second one. My first one probably that one um he did with Monifa. Ooh. I need to be loved by you. He went off on that one, but yeah, oh, Jealous Guys. That yeah. shit was hard. And that joint with um is one to act. We can act. Want to scrap? We yeah, can scrap. Yeah. That joint was fire too. Uh, yeah, but that jealous guys. I just felt like you know how they did it on Big's album and all that. It was just it was different. It was dope. The fact that they were vulnerable enough to even <laughs> even play on the track like that. You know, like yeah, Big had cool. did the player haters, right? Yeah, yup. <laughs> yep. So, what are some of your goals for your uh, career right now? Uh, right now, it's really uh, a lot of focusing on the branding. Um, I took I took uh you know some time off of focusing on the art artistry to really learn the business, learn about more about marketing, learn about what I was trying to portray. And um, so I, I got everything situated, got my paperwork right. So my company is uh, Good Hygiene, um, LLC. And just um, packaging that up right and making sure that I'm, I'm pushing that message of just holistic living, an alternative way of living. Um, it's like a side dish for folks. So making sure that the music that I'm creating now is serving the purpose as being that soundtrack for good hygiene. And, um, you know, I'm doing Monday through Friday, I do a daily peak. It's uh, no less than a minute of me just talking about mental health, uh, emotional wellness, um, just parenting, you know, just, uh, it's a, it's a daily peak into life. And I try to just, reach out to the folks and relate with people and get a lot of good feedback on that. So it's, um, you know, branding, getting the branding down, developing that fan base, uh, allowing people to identify with good hygiene and feel like they're, they're part of the gene pool, you know? So that's, that's the focus right now. Yeah. I actually, I was on your Instagram. I saw it said motivational speaker, but I didn't know if you were just saying that cause you rap or you actually are a motivational speaker. Um, I, and the reason why I did that is cause I, I saw that, you know, people were really taking a liking to to the daily peaks <clears throat> and the, the content that I was pro posting, which is very motivational. Um, and they hear that in the music, but there's something very personable about the videos coming out. So I just put motivational speaker as like a kind of jokingly because you, you'll see rapper or, you know, rap artist. And it's like, ah, here we go. Another one. So I, I think it's very surprising when people play a video. And they read in the comments, instrumental by Joe Allende. Or at the end of the video, or if they're listening closely, they they hear this song. They may hear my song Skyfall in the back, or they may hear my song Dope in the back. And it's like, well, along with this, the gems that he's dropping, he raps too. And then they, you know, it's, it's a whole discovery process and really grabbing people at the grassroots. All right. Then I ask, did I ask you about your current project, what you got coming up? Um, I saw well, you just came out with a video. I forgot the name of it, but I was just looking at it on YouTube. 
Oh man, there was a there was a couple videos that dropped. <laughs> like just dropped, like le- this month. Okay, then mm, yeah, mm, I want to say. Let me look right quick because I, I was on there already. I was I was actually looking on your site. I know I dropped my last video. I dropped, with a D. I, I want to say discount. Yeah, discount. Yep. Yeah, that was um. So I was doing the Allende series where I was releasing content, uh, a song weekly for that month of May. Um, and discount was the uh the end of that that section of the series, and I dropped the video for that uh, high energy. <clears throat> and uh, at this point, right now, what I'm you're gonna be the first to know. I, I'll let you know right now. I'm working on an actual project. Um. If if you've been rocking with me for a while, then you might already know the name to what this project is gonna be. But I'm I'm working on I'm working on a project and there's gonna be we're gonna do a nice release. We're gonna package some things up in a nice bundle and make it really, really, really good for, for the folks out there. So I am actually working on a project. Uh there's gonna be a lot of a lot of self production on there, a lot of production from you know, from my camp. Because the last project that I put out reached out to you know a few different producers, so it's going to be very, very in house. It's going to have a nice vibe, nice feel to it, um, and yeah, <laughs> that that's the good hygiene. It's coming. Right, you was kind of talking about this, but what are some of your interests outside of music? Interests outside of music, I'm really, um, I'm really big on fatherhood, family life. Um, so on the real, it's it's talking to people about about parents. I like talking to folks about parenting styles. I like um I'm I'm I like reading. I'm big on reading. Um I'm big on just kicking it with my wife. I mean I that like when when I say you know she don't feel like a wife, that's I got a best friend. Like I, I kick it I kick it with my shorty and we just chop and we build and um I, I like food, man. Like I'm I'm really I'm really a regular Joe when it comes down to it. Like I like I like rapping and all but Ain't nothing like me kicking it with my sons. Ain't nothing like me uh, chopping with my daughter, hanging with my wife. I like getting in the community. Um, it's actually yesterday we had a community event in in Maslin out here in Ohio, community uh-huh. fair. So I, you know, I got busy under the under the tent, you know, talking with the uh, the folks, the nonprofit organizations in the community, um, handing out information, introducing myself to folks, making myself available. I like doing that. And and handing and handing information to folks because the information is there. I want to see my people do well, and um, sometimes we just don't like to put in that footwork. So if I can disperse information, I know people like my smile. So if I can if I can be a face for something to to help advance my folks, that's my thing. Um, I'm really I really want to get into um, building with an organization, even starting my own that that gives fathers more of a voice in the legal system. Uh, Cause that's one of my passions, especially like uh, thinking about young fathers. I, you know, I want to, I want to get in there to start moving towards some reform for that because that's a, that's a handful. Um, that's I'm, I'm out, I'm out here, man. I'm out here with the people, man. That's that's what I like to do. I'm out here with the people. I'm, I'm kicking it with the wife and kids, man. Yeah, I'm saying, sound like you what? You got a three, four kids. Woo! Yeah, let's stop at three. We got. We yeah, got I heard kids. I heard boys, but then I heard daughter. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, got my three. daughter. Uh, yeah, my daughter is. Um, she's in Georgia. Um, my my wife. We actually met. We we came. We got married. We came into the marriage one apiece, and then we had one ourselves. So uh, my daughter, she's in Georgia. Actually, going down this month to see baby girl. So yeah, three kids. Um, they died. Somebody talking about having another one. I'm, you know, I'm trying to play the I'm, see see what it's looking like, but that, they talking about another one. I don't know. <laughs> I would say. So, what do you like most about being a father? Um, whew, the most. That's that's even hard to say. I say the most interesting. No, what I like the most is the fact that I'm realizing that I'm learning just as much from my children as I think that they're learning from me. Um. Being able to view them as individuals, view them as human beings, and even see myself in them, and stop, and, you know, like like have the patience. I'm learning a lot of patience because I see them do things, and it's like, well, that's something that you need to work on, Joe. And um, just uh-huh. just learning from their 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 willingness to to soak up information, um, learning from the fact that they can just see life from a perspective of I don't have to pay bills and life is wonderful. So just getting back to that, that essence of life, 
I learned that from them being present, being in that moment, being in the moment. I learned that from them. Like, so that's, that's a joy of fatherhood for me is, is really seeing life at its, at its core essence without all the worries and the, the, the weight of the world. Mm. Then what's your favorite book and your favorite movie? My favorite book, my favorite book is The Alchemist by uh, Paulo Coelho. Uh, yeah, I like that book too. Yeah, that's, I say, yeah, that's definitely my favorite. Um, I'd say uh, a close second is going to have to be A New Earth by Eckhart Tolle. Um, that's pretty dope too. My favorite movie. Oh. Whew. Man, that's a that's a rough question right there, man. It kind of it, it changes with the wind. Um, you know, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the wood right now. That's how I'm feeling. Right. And then, what advice would you give to new artists? Um, <clears throat> find the balance between your craft and what it takes to get your craft in front of people. Um. It's, it's cool to like it's cool to have a plan to make the music move but if your music is trash then you disrespecting the craft find another way to get money get mm-hmm. like get about my field um and also it's cool to be able to rap and make the best songs in the world but if you expect everybody else <clears throat> to to handle your business and get your name out and you want everybody to make you as important as you need to be making yourself then get about the business you you disrespecting the the craft of business. So really find that balance between, you know, the artistry and, and the business. And then what would you like to say to your fans and supporters? Hey, to my fans and supporters, yo, keep rocking with me um, over the course of these next weeks and months. You're going to see a lot of content rolling out. Head on over to joeyende.com. Um, hit me up on social media. I love y'all as always. Good hygiene. Shout out to the gene pool, man. We got some good things in the works, baby. All right, we're going to say thanks for coming through politics with me. Oh, for sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah, what's your social media and everything? Um, social media, all social media, J-O-E-A-Y-I-N-D-E, Joe Allende, all social media. Popolitikin.com. The Popolitikin Show is brought to you by Audible. With over 180,000 titles to choose from, Audible is great for any continuous learner wanting to grow and expand their knowledge and insight. Go to www.audibletrial.com slash PO audio and get an audio book of your choice free with a 30 day trial. After the trial, your paid membership will begin at $14.95 per month. With your membership, you will receive one credit every month, good for an audiobook on Audible. Cancel before your trial ends and you will not be charged. So go to www.audibletrial.com slash PO audio and download a free book by Tony Robbins, Grant Cardone, Napoleon Hill, Les Brown, Damon John, and more. Always remember that knowledge is power.